Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got another short little unboxing video to share with you guys. Something new, something brand new from Bird Blades. And I'm sure you guys, I've looked at actually quite a few models over the years. And uh, they reached out and said, do you want to take a look at a production version of a knife that I think they have done here fairly recently? There are like actual custom versions of this knife on their website, which cost way more. So don't let there be any confusion. These are much, they're still expensive, but they're less expensive production versions. But it's based on, I guess, the Iron Wolf, which was my favorite model from them. I actually have an Iron Wolf that uh, Iron Wolf that I'll get out here in a sec and show you guys uh, in comparison. But um, I can't wait to open this up and share it with you guys. Thanks so much to Bird Blades for sending this in. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at Metal underscore Complex and on TikTok at the underscore Metal underscore Complex. So um, these he had said in I, I looked back in DMs and on July 30th he said we're going to be releasing these next month, meaning August, and it is definitely August when you're watching this. So. Depending on when you're watching it, it might actually be available right now. Ah, very nice. Yeah. So this is the production tick, which is absolutely just a slightly smaller. I mean, it's still 100% a full-size knife. Man, that's good looking. Really good looking. Low profile flipper tab. So it's not uncomfortable. To, sorry, I got a, a couple of slices there. Uh, but not uncomfortable to get right up there behind the edge. This is S90V. Now I'm kind of kicking myself. Personally, I always go when I get it when I have a choice. I always go for all stone washed, right? And if I can get carbon fiber, then great. I did not realize that one of his options is actually a shiny DLC. So <laughs> I'm stupid for not selecting that one to show it off. But I do love this one. For those of you who don't like the shiny DLC. Well, they have a bunch of different options actually. Man, this is a really good size. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to keep this one. Um I don't always you guys know I don't always keep stuff. Uh the vast majority of stuff that comes into the channel gets given away um on uh, live streams, but um no, yeah, I got it. I'm sorry. This is mine. This is mine now. I, I really like this. Um, so let me let me show it to you guys up against the Iron Wolf. All right, here we go. So I can't remember how long ago I bought this knife, but uh, I remember the first time that I saw the Iron Wolf and I thought, this reminds me a lot of the XM24, which you guys know I'm a huge Hinderer fan after all these years, uh, but it was substantially less expensive. Now, admittedly in this moment, because this is not a review, this is just an unboxing and first impressions, right? When I do the review, I will have the complete information for you guys. So if Berg Blades wants to, you know, pop into the comments and correct me, that's fine. I think the OEM for these is Bestec. I could be wrong. It could be, uh, it could be we, it could be Riyadh. All of them are so good now, it's hard to tell them apart, right? Um, but it does feel excellent. Whoever did it, did a really good job. And also, I would like to point out the... Iron Wolf, this is not even a Gen 1 Iron Wolf. I think this is Generation 2 or Generation 3. And I still love it. It's great. This definitely feels more crisp. Absolutely. It also has a little fuller here. Oh, God. Sweet, baby. That is, uh, that's real nice. That's real crispy. Can I do it with my left hand? I'm trying. My left hand, the finger on the left hand is nowhere near as strong. Yeah, there we go. Uh, this feels very, very good. Um, and the size honestly feels just a lot more... Uh, appropriate for EDC. That's the, the only reason I don't carry this is because it just ended up being so big, right? Um, but yeah, really cool. And I'm loving that they did S90V on this. Nice dark stone wash. But these are contoured, right? That's a big deal because the original uh, was flat. So they have done an iron pup, which I think is actually like the, it's even, it's even smaller. This guy's going to be in between. I bet you I'm going to take a guess at that and say 7.75. Let's see. Oh, no, 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 no. That's eight inches. Yep. Three and a half uh, for blade length and three and a quarter for cutting edge. Wow, man, I love this. I love this. This is so great. Oh, man. 
That is really ideal. All right, hold on. Hold on here. Let's take a look. Loving the inlay position. Love the pivot collar. Love the flat pivot. Excellent. Obviously, great transition from titanium to inlay. Love that we kept just a thin parameter around there. I really like that. I love that you did it on both sides, too. I think a lot of people would have just been lazy and only done it on one side. That's really cool that we did it on both sides. Plenty of access to that lock bar. Really, really great lock bar insert, of course. Pocket clip's a bit long for my taste, right? I always like it to be 50% or less. However, it is contoured. Knocked down at the edges nice and wide. Little ramp under the bill. That's great. Look how we've done the backspacer. That's cool. Love that. Very plain, but there's a couple of little areas left and right of the uh, backspacer where you can see there are little gaps here. Kind of like that. Little designy. Uh, little, I guess we, I always used to point out when there was a landing zone. This, the, the purpose of this, when they, when they carve these areas out, I guess it just is slightly more comfortable for your finger. <laughs> I have, I, I think so many, we see it so often now that it, I did, it just doesn't register. Jimping, functional jimping out to a, a an appropriate zone to complement the index finger position when you're choked up. You know, even with the elongated pocket clip, honestly, um, pretty comfortable in the standard grip, definitely comfortable in the choked up grip. This is a great overall size. Uh, really happy with that. That is the type of knife that I really enjoy carrying. I would like to weigh it here real quick. Where is my scale? Oh no. <laughs> I had two full knife cases sitting on top of that scale off camera. You okay, bud? You all right? All right, we're good. Um, the weight is 4.7 ounces. Honestly, not that bad. Uh, this is full titanium. Um, a bummer here, obviously, for lefties because we do not have a mounting position for left-handed people. Looks like we got T8 screws across the board, which is nice. And, oh, uh, no hardware showing on the non-show side, which is interesting. I wonder why we just wanted to keep the clip side looking clean. Okay, hidden screw for the pocket clip underneath. No screws over here, no screws showing. So that means that these screws are going to go all the way through the backspacer and thread partially into the other side of the titanium, which I consider to be a benefit. Uh, it's That's a strong way to keep everything together, uh, and it also minimizes the total number of fasteners on the knife. It's already going to be an incredibly simple knife to um, you know, take apart and put back together. But yeah, I am a huge fan of this. I, so to be honest with you, I, I knew that I was going to like this, I did not. I did not think that I was going to love it. I thought that my Iron Wolf was going to be uh, my number one uh, still, but I honestly think I like this more. I would love if you guys uh, decided to do another. How long has it been since you guys have done a a batch of Iron Wolves? Uh, I I want to say I bought this in like 2020 or even 2019. Um, it's been a long time, and maybe, maybe you guys have done them since then, and I just didn't know. But I I would love to see an Iron Wolf that looks like this. Uh, this is, man, this is really cool. I love this. Wow. I don't know what these are going to cost at the moment. I would expect them to, I would expect them to cost something slightly north or south of 300, right? So I'm talking 280 to 320 is right around where I'm guessing. Uh, a lot of people will say, well, you got companies using titanium and M390 and only charging $200. Yeah, um, but uh, th this is this feels like a little bit extra. You have carbon fiber inlays. You've got contoured titanium. Really nice, right? Uh, you've got a lot of different finishes, including DLC. And the overall fit and finish, the overall finish work and execution feels a little bit higher. And on top of that, I doubt these are massive batches of knives, which we have all come to understand does cost more money. When you have people working with these OEMs, right? If you order a batch of 10,000, I'm sure they'll cut you a deal. Most people aren't going to fund that, right? So they've kind of, OEMs have figured out how they can price this and maximize profits. And it doesn't always benefit the people trying to bring a production version of their custom knives to the world for people to get their hands on for less money, right? So there's a little bit of balancing. There's a little bit of game playing, right? Um, so that's oftentimes why we see that. Uh, but I don't know. I haven't actually seen the price tags in this moment. By the time you guys are watching this video, 
it will be weeks ahead. So I will have seen it and I will have linked it in my uh, description so you guys can go and actually check it out if you want to. But uh, yeah, very cool, very exciting stuff from Berg Blades. Thank you very much for letting me check it out. This will get a full comprehensive review, that, which is, again, not what you're watching today. Uh, you will get a full review on this knife after I've had a chance to carry it and use it for a bit. Uh, but that's going to be it for today. So links again for this guy down in the description. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.